here we are in the kitchen. Um, it occurred to me that I need to um, redistribute some birds, um, specifically put my soon-to-be bred birds into the um, paired flight because I have babies coming into uh, eight babies that are going to come out of the shed and go into the divided flight pretty soon. Um, and it doesn't hurt for the purposes of bonding for birds to spend some time together before you pair them off and put them in the shed. So um, I brought them in and then my girls, these are some of my girls, that is um, the blue one is the little pie that I named her McLeod and that um, from left to right is Remington, Laurel, and Jerry Moore. Everybody's getting last names for names this generation. Um, so, um, Bear Moore started up with uh, the sneezes. And it occurred to me that I've seen her do that before. And when my birds sneeze, it's air sac mites. So, I don't think they have it bad, but I'm treating all the girls. Um, I don't have to do all the antibiotics and everything because nobody has it that bad, but they're going to get 24-hour treatment once a week for three weeks. And as I was out there moving everybody around, oh, my quarantine birds are out now. Um, and as I was out there moving everyone around, I took a look at Miss Cinnamon here and realized that she has crashed and burned which explains why, although she loves her man and she loves her box, she never laid any eggs because she's sick as a dog. Um, again, I'm going to guess she's Typhoid Mary as far as the air sac mites go because she had a terrible case of it. So um, I'm treating her with ivermectin and hers I'm going to follow up with uh, the antibiotics because she's quite ill. She's really dumped a whole bunch of weight. Um, her tail's bouncing um, and she's really feeling pretty bad. Whereas the other girls um, except for, uh, um, Barrymore sniffling, um, I don't have it bad. So, um, Miss, uh, Cinnamon is going to stay in and get the full treatment. And the others are going to go back out tomorrow. I'll bring them back in next week when they have to have a day of ivermectin. Put them back out, and then the last time a week later. So they have some time to meet their men. Um, and I've started watching the birds in the big flight because I'm looking for males. Oh, and this is um, Neon and Angel, my regular parakeet. Um, I moved them down into this cage because um, it opened up and it's a better cage for bringing up babies. Um, I'm sure she has eggs in there, but I haven't looked yet. So um, Anyway, so um, out in the big flight, I'm looking for um, males that are looking like they're ready to breed. Um, I have called around and asked and discovered that, yes, indeed, fertility goes down in, Janu in December and January. Of course, dead of winter. So that could be a significant part of what's going on. I'm trying to breed the birds at the wrong time of year, and they have low fertility at that time. Then you pile a little calcium on top of that, and they just shut down completely. So everybody's perking up now. Um, and I should be free and clear and in a period of high fertility for the next four months um, for February to through May. So I'm in here in the big flight. We got a big population in here now and I'm looking for who's up next. I still am not going to... This is Oliver. He was one of the quarantine birds. Um, there is Butterfield. Another quarantine bird that's scruffy next to him. And where was the oh, and there's um, the little lace wing Lacey. Um, she looks really good, um, but I'm not gonna try and breed those males um, for at least a month. So they are not at the head of the line for the breeding shed, which is gonna, you know, I have three cages opening up in about two weeks because those babies. Um, that we've got in there are going to grow up and, and take off. So, um, pairs that, that are ready to breed um, is, I've decided I'm going to go ahead, this is um, Storm right there. Um, he and his lady bred their two babies 
they were the last two babies of 2017, but that was all the way back in um, October, September or October that they that they had those babies. Um, so, I, you know, S Storm is more than ready. His lady over here, uh, Azul, is more than ready, and I got some, s those two babies I got out of them are stellar babies. So I'm going to throw them in first, and then I'm looking, I have this whole set of blue males. There's Dusty right there. There's Blue, uh, there's um, Butterfield, um, and all of them are high value males, but they haven't, they're not in condition at the moment. Um, so I've been sitting out here looking at them, and the one of them that looks like he's starting to respond to spring, oh Zoo, stop! Here, go up there and sing. The one of them that looks like he's getting ready to, to do springtime is Blue. He's perking up. You can see that he's heavy, and he's starting to chase girls around the cage. Um, I'm going to breed him to Cloudy. So he's going in. So it's going to be Storm and Azul, Blue and Cloudy, and um, I haven't decided who the third pair is going to be. Um, so yeah, because Blue is, I don't know if you can see it, but he's, he's just, his feather is full right now. He's... He's starting to make noises at the other males, like, I got something going on here, um, chasing him around. Um, Storm has been making eyes at um, Crystal, who used to be kind of Blue's girl, and Blue didn't have any response for the first week or so, and all of a sudden, in the last few days, he started chasing Azul. So he's like, okay, sure, you can have her, I'll take Azul. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's got Storm on the run because Storm's like, oh no, 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 Azul's mine too. Storm wants everybody and Blue's um, teasing him now and um, putting up some resistance. So that tells me that in a couple of weeks, I'm betting that he's going to be live enough um, to uh, put in the breeding shed. And Cloudy is so ready. Um, so the, And the girls are all getting treated and they're going to be in here so they can spend some time with all of these handsome guys. There's a uh, Luscious right there, um, who Vistas seems to think is the most beautiful thing in the world, which is nice, because Scruffy kind of ignores her. But Scruffy just got that treatment, and he's an older bird, so he's going to need a little time. Um, there is Haverty up there. This is Sparky's son, and a, a, a bird with fantastic size. Um, and I think when he's done growing up, he's going to have some decent feather. He's sitting up there next to, um, Limey. Um, so Haverty's going to get bred to, uh, the lacewing lady back there. But he's not ready yet. He's only seven months old. He needs two more months on him before I can put him in a breeding cage. And the other thing about him is I took him in and weighed him before I brought him in here. And he weighs almost 70 grams. But he's a baby. He's not done yet. So I'm going to guess that he is going to be a big boy by the time he's done. I'm really pleased with him. And he hasn't even done his nine-month molt yet, which is when they really get their feather in. So I, I'm really excited about him. Um, the quarantine guys all got weighed this morning. Um, this guy's up to 53 grams. Scruffy's up to 51 from 42, so that's a big jump. Um, and Oliver is stuck at 49, which is, that they're, they're, they're light. But I think being outside and being spring and having the girls around, they will probably perk up and their appetites will increase. They're tired right now because they've, you know, just done a whole new, um, they're having a whole new experience here. They've never actually been outside. The guy I got them from has indoor flight cages, so. So anyway, um, that's looking forward to, uh, we got about two more weeks of our babies, um, of Hyacinth and Stratus's babies, um, Bubba and Breezy's babies, and Royal and Matilda's babies. We got about two more weeks before the, the, the females got about one more week before they get brought out here, and the males will get taken into the zoo. Get off of me. Um, and the, uh, look at this, I'm being attacked. Can you see this cockatiel here? She's a beast. <laughs> anyway, um, 
so I'll take the females out in, somewhere around the third week and the males somewhere around the fourth week into the uh, fledgling cage and then those cages will open up. And those babies are at two weeks. I'm going to be um, cleaning out their uh, nest boxes tomorrow so we get to take a close look at what we've got and see what we can see. All right, so here's the future. Look at Dusty right there. Doesn't he just look lovely? His feathers all sorted out. He's in good shape. He's just a nice bird. I sure hope he puts it together and decides that he's going to be ready to breed every spring. So, okay, that's it.